This mod turns Minecraft into a real-time strategy game. You can build a thriving castle with farmers, bakers, hunters and guards. But today, me and Atrus are gonna start two colonies right next to each other and see whose army is the last left standing. My start wasn't exactly golden to say the least. Hey yo boys! Watch out, there's a creeper! Oh no, <laughs> oh can I select God. them and order them around? Go away! No, only I'm allowed to kill my citizens. Oh, you have come to spectate the slaughter. This is gonna be one short video for you and one easy win for me. Oh wow, you can auto-select just a bunch of trees. That's so cleverly made. It's yeah, also it's really, really satisfying to see all your workers work. Crafting is pretty important, but to unlock that privilege in this mod, you need to have your colonists place down a crafting table for you, and you then have to employ him as a crafter. Just saying that there are no working rights, and you can just fire him right after crafting something and get him back to the mines where he belongs. So many trees are already gone, but this is just too satisfying. We're on track to clear out the Amazon rainforest if we continue like this. It took me a while because of the spider incident at the start, but I gathered enough resources to build my first house, which unlocked the forester profession, with which I would then get access to seeds. Now, you're probably asking, why don't you just get a miner or additional houses to increase your colonist capacity like our model general Atras over here? Well, in the late game, you can unlock archers, which are pretty overpowered, and one of those resources you need for them is a hay bale. It didn't help that I had created my base on a mountain. It did give me the high ground, but I had to carve out terraces as if I was living in Peru. The top of the mountain was just an enormous death trap because of the powdered snow. We said that there's a grace period, right? <laughs> Ah, grace spirit. Peace, 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 peace. Hey, yo, what the frick? I think my forester is an enderman. It literally teleports around. Ooh, bro, you better clean up that water, though. Let's hope that the new miner I'm gonna get from this hut is not gonna be as stupid as my forester. Oh, no, bro. I already, I or, I already know who that was. Where are you? Wait, my forester did unalive. Hopefully out of shame. Because it is shameful what he did. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, totally. I totally didn't just mark half your mountain to be flattened. I totally didn't just mark half of it to be flattened. I totally didn't just get 50 miners to dig everything out. I am actually insulted beyond <laughs> imagination. Not because you claim my land, but because I actually built a flower garden of peace right there. Uh, you know what that place looks really good for? That land looks great for a warrior's hunt. Okay, really going with the peace was never an option route. For now, I still had more pressing concerns back at the base. After days of grueling work, my people were now malnourished, which drastically reduces efficiency. Obviously, we can't have that. Instead, we can just kill everyone by lowering the citizen gap, increase it again, and wait for new settlers to spawn. Atrus already had a bunch of houses and had started construction on a blacksmith, which would unlock iron and diamond tools in the long term. He probably thought that if I didn't have barracks and soldiers, there would be no way for me to attack him. That's where he was very wrong. Oh yes, Aki, eat! Deplete his food rations. No, no Aki! Die, Aki! <laughs> I successfully pushed that spider Die, all the way from my base to yours. It's such a nice I'm micromanaging you, this spider, and like 12 other... <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I was just so bored waiting for my builders to finish. Uh. No, not fair, not fair, not fair. This is exactly as the mod authors intended the game to be played. Oh my god, I need more wood, which means I need colonists <laughs> Great job, Mr. Spider, keep it up. Bro, you're using that fucker like a fucking Pokemon. I don't have a crafter. Well, if I remember correctly, there has never been a Pokemon that has slaughtered an entire village population, my guy. But you know what? I'm, I'm very graceful. I'm gonna stop, uh, or at least I'm gonna leave you alone. Uh, my builders have finished. Oh, bro. My attack only stopped Atrus's lead from getting even bigger, and I had to periodically free my pawns from getting stuck on the water. After half an hour of doing that, I had basically abandoned the idea to rush getting archers. By that time, Atrus would already have an army of 50 full iron veteran soldiers. He had, in fact, already built his first barracks. Hey, okay. 
Jason Ayo, Ayo, Jason. Come on, bro. We need to give introductory greetings, bro. We need to give greetings. Okay, yeah. I kind of deserved that. We need to give greetings. The American greeting, bro. <laughs> fair, fair. Although I managed to get away without too much loss, it was foreboding for the future. I wasn't going to beat Atrus regarding quality, so just throwing mounts of people at his town seemed like the only option. So I just started building a bunch of houses. Well, at least that's what I wanted Atrus to believe. Actually, I had already built barracks, but Atrus hadn't realized it because the buildings just looked kind of the same and I hadn't employed anyone as a soldier. Now I just need an excuse what in god's green earth are you doing don't worry this is just a routine border patrol are you <laughs> a wall yes i'm gonna build a wall and let you pay for it leo don't, leo this isn't your russian oligarch video from your fucking the mind colonies well that's where you're wrong <laughs> how many people do you have oh, oh what the no, fuck no, is no. that I actually don't have that many people. <laughs> Maybe there's a birthday or something and a lot of relatives were invited. Beautiful day, and neighbor. An absolutely pine day for no conflict whatsoever. Yes. It's the perfect day to start my infallible and ingenious plan. Oh my god. How many did you make? Just a couple. <laughs> don't worry. If I wanted to attack, I wouldn't just stand still here. Hey, right, hold on. Wait, right, where's all my... Oh, board? yes, come. We have some really nice sweets on the side. Yes, Shack. just a step. Yes, get him. Get him. Kill him. And now charge. Charge oh, the main, bro, that's an the main castle. That's a no, no, yeah. Don't spare the civilians. Charge. Oh, fuck. We're not in formation. Okay, wait. No, that's not... Yes, I would. It was actually Atrus who vowed for the end of the border dispute, which makes sense considering that he's going to crush me in the end game. I really, really, really couldn't let that happen. The reason why I'm building a ton of smaller inefficient houses is that the respawn rate on them is comparably high, which meant that it was time for some guerrilla tactics. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was fake news. And I All just right. accidentally. You motherfucker. Oh shit, he noticed, he noticed! Okay, alright boys, full attack. He go, go for the civilians, yes, kill the civilians. Whoa. My boy! Atrus, you thought you couldn't spend any manpower on military budgets on soldiers? One after the other. Oh, he spawned in new recruits. They're new, they're fresh, we can get them. They, they have nothing on their... They, no skills. Come on, yes! Look at them, they they stand in fear in front of the might of our army. Yeah, they can't select they my stand units. In fear. They can't do anything. Excuse me. I bro. can't Excuse select my me. units, bro. What is it? Yes. This feels so good, bro. Yeah, because I can't fucking do anything. Every last one. Okay, soldiers, I have to tell you something. You actually have to die now. <laughs> because I need you to God. build later and I can I can't convert you to builders. God, you hit me at such a terrible time because I'm over here like peacefully digging because I'm like, okay, I'm just going to set up more farms and shit. Well, that's just where the two of us are completely different. Maybe. Your colony is like very orderly. You have flowers, decorations. It's clean and mine is just a fuck mess. It's a slum. No food, no happiness. <laughs> now I just had to continue putting up the pressure on him. Who the f Leo? Ah, don't worry, it's just a friendly ambassador of mine who just wants to say hello to each of your peasants. Yes. Uh, come on, attack. attack. Yes! Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, yes, eat his food. Apples. Mmm, yummy apples. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no! <laughs> He got, he got, uh, he got soldiers now. Run, run. Get out run. of here, oh, okay. here boy. Get out of here, boy. Good trade, though. Two for one. I like that. It's a fair trade. You can do math. <laughs> this man is more powerful than I could have ever conceived. I'm like playing FNAF over here, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I like, I'm like, I, I'm building and I'm digging and shit. And then just out of nowhere, I just like <laughs> middle mouse click, swipe my camera all the way over to your place. I see where you're coming from, but... You really don't have to worry about. I'm not dangerous at all. Very peaceful. Uh huh. Sure. You have really nothing to fear from me. You have nothing to fear from me. I'm perfectly safe. <laughs> Japan, 15 minutes before Pearl Harbor. Hey, Japan, should we trust you? Yeah, America, we're fine. We're clonies. 
<laughs> they were in fact not homies. Ready. Peaceful, no transgressions between either of our beautiful colonies. Yes, of course. Kill confirmed. Shit, I need to place down my planks, because I have too many planks. <laughs> Very relatable. What you doing? Just building more houses. Where the fuck are they? Your soldiers. Where are they? <laughs> he noticed it. Oh my god. Bruh! Agent 47, get him! Agent 47, get him! Yo, that infiltration was sick. Kill him, kill the civilians. Yes, slaughter them, bro. Let's go. I had to fucking hire goddamn new ones. I literally built an entire fucking house just to avoid, just to have more people. And then you just fucking like sneak attack. No, oh, do you think? Nah. Can I get away? Run, run, run. Nah. Okay. Going for a counter attack. What's that? I'm just saying. The story writes itself. <laughs> I really couldn't see why you attack me. Why? We, you should have known that we would retaliate eventually. And by retaliate, I mean just have one guy come over because everyone else is stuck in between the wall. The wall wa The wall functioned. Where is the one guy I sent? I wish I could tell. I wouldn't worry about that guy because he's already dead. Uh, yes. Okay, warrior boys. He's done it. He's killed one of our own. And he's even currently killing more. Okay, how do you select? This is so scuffed. Okay, a second. Uh, let's go, boys. Run, charge, get him. Oh, my army. Look at them go. Charging down the mountain. Holy we have shit. the high ground. Anakin, <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is beautiful. Should they try to run? Let's go. You're, you're not running away, my guy. You're definitely not running away. Why are you yeah. so slow, bro? Why is mine so slow? <laughs> you literally win every fight by sheer numbers because I don't have anything to fight. Oh, Atrus, oh, Atrus, you think that was a lot of people? It seems that you have a few lessons to learn. Let me show you my full might. <laughs> Kill my entire army. Oh, this is a lot of people, my boy. I can't do anything. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know, give up. I need that many people to actually like stop you from respawning and flatten your entire village. All right, I guess, time. all right, I guess. <laughs> it really hurts me to do this as well, but if this video gets 1000 likes, then we'll do part two.